was our designer at our Irvine Design Center who actually penned the Sonata. And he's here today. We'll do a walk around outside with you. But this is new design language for Hyundai. And we're looking at this as really you know, a way of carving out our own niche within the marketplace as a design direction for many of our vehicles that are coming out in the next couple of years to actually follow. You'll see that actually you see a strong character line as well as a belt line, the chrome strip molding that actually runs down the side of the vehicle to the front. And it nicely ties together the side of the vehicle with the front of the vehicle. And then on the rear you have this great roof line and it actually also you can see here where it actually pulls together the side line to the rear of the vehicle. So you see this harmonious vehicle. We'd like to think that the outside being sporty, modern, and dynamic needs and requires really to have an interior that is just as sporty and dynamic. And so we've actually had a lot of the same types of flowing lines and hopefully you'll notice this today while you're out driving. As Sonata is a mid-sized car, we consider it a mid-sized car, it actually competes with some of the segment leaders. So you have the Camry, you have the Accord, you have the Ultima, the Fusion, and the Malibu. And these cars overall for the mid-size segment make up well over 80% of the segment volume. So these are our key competitors that we're looking to go head-to-head -head with. From a product positioning for the Sonata, when we had the 2010, it was a great car. It's, you'll still see those out in the dealer lots. But it tends to be more traditional, more of a conventional type sedan. And that's where you know many people look for that in the marketplace. But we actually looked at, through market research, what do people want? And they're looking for something that's a little bit has a little bit more character, a little more flavor to it. And that's where really the new Sonata is designed to meet more of those people's needs by being a little bit sportier, a little bit dynamic, more dynamic than what the previous generation was. And this also enables them to attract more people into the brand. When we looked at the exterior of the car as we were going into the development, we looked at the overall size of the previous generation Sonata was pretty close to where the market wanted it to be. In other words, it's a mid-sized car which translates to consumers that it's easy to park, it's something that's easy for them to maneuver, somewhat nimble for them, and looked at, well, they don't want it to get too big because you, over time, have seen many cars that have just keep expanding and expanding, and before you know it, they've grown out of their segments. And we wanted to keep it relatively within the same segment. Along with that is that we have this unique ability to actually take a car that, okay, it's a mid-sized car, but actually make it really roomy inside. So in the back we had the displays of the popcorn to really illustrate how much extra interior volume that we had. And by EPA standards, the Sonata is actually considered a large car. So again, there's that roominess and we maintain that large car status actually in the 2011. We had it even in our 2010 model year. And the only other one that comes close is the Honda Accord. And again, that one is substantially larger on the outside, and again, maybe a little bit too large for the average consumer. Our cars are, in general, known to be quiet cars, and that's something that we take pride in because it gives a sense of quality and craftsmanship to the car. And we've actually relatively stayed almost about the same. We've reduced noise a little bit over a previous generation, and we've done this through tuning of the exhaust note, as well as reducing some of the wind noise that's entering through the doors, as well as the rear trunk lid. Most exciting about the new product is the powertrains. These powertrains are really dynamic for us. We have an all new <coughs> 2.4 liter GDI gasoline direct injection engine, and this is actually providing horsepower up to 200 horsepower. Um, our standard car, which or standard engine that's in our GLS and limited car, provides 198 horsepower. When you step up to the SC, this 40 year version, you get 200 horsepower. And along with this, then you have torque levels of 184 and 186. And most importantly, normally there's this dichotomy where you either have to trade off and either get horsepower or get fuel economy. And what's great about the new Sonata is that you're offering both to consumers. So you're actually getting 200 horsepower and you're getting either 
22 and 35 or 24 and 35. And that's something that is uncommon <coughs> in the marketplace today. And if you think about just a couple of years ago, V6 engines and V6 powertrains out there were only providing up to about 170 horsepower. So now we have this four cylinder that's able to provide more horsepower than some of the six cylinders did <coughs> just a few years ago and give you far better fuel economy. <coughs> Backing up or pairing with those that new engine is the all new six speed automatic transmission. This is actually a transmission that was developed in house. So this is actually 26.4 pounds lighter than the previous five speed automatic that it replaces and actually has 62 fewer moving parts in it, which means it translates to a consumer that will have better durability over time and requires less maintenance. Along with that, we also offer in our entry car a six speed <coughs> manual transmission. Manual transmissions, while enthusiasts love them, unfortunately, consumers in the midsize segment are not that fond of them. So we have not seen a huge demand for uh, manual transmissions in this segment. To give you an idea of where we stand with power, that R198 is actually best in class for, or 200 is actually best in class compared to our key competitors here. You'll actually see that you know, coming closest is around the Ultima and the Fusion at 175. So again, stepping up the bar, taking consumers to real up level and set, answering their question and really responding to their needs for more power, but in a four-cylinder powertrain. We've actually been able to achieve this best-in-class fuel economy through the direct injection engine. We've also implemented things such as smart alternators, Lower, low rolling resistance tires, a low friction drivetrain, and then we've taken a lot of weight out of the car itself. We actually have removed 100, up to 130 pounds worth of weight out of the car. Helps it feel a lot more nimble on driving. Give you an idea, the Sonata's at 3199, so again, this is really giving us a competitive advantage. Yeah. When you look at the power to weight ratio, we're at 16.2, which is again, best our key competitors out there. We frequently get, you know, from one generation to the next, we always strive to actually make the bodies more rigid. And over our previous generation, we've actually improved the torsion by 25% and then the bending by 19% over previous generation. From a chassis, we actually have our front suspension is an independent McPherson strut design, and in the rear is a multi-length type design. And then to give our SC, again, a true sporty character, we've actually upped the spring stiffness as well as the dampening, and we've actually increased the rear stabilizer bar as well. So again, this has its own character. We have several of the SCs outside, and I would suggest that if you can get into either an SE now or on the way back from lunch and then trade off into a limited or a GLS. But at least this way it gives you the flavor of the two different chassis tunings. And I do believe that we still have our chassis engineer here. And he's in the back. So if you have any questions on chassis, he's here to help us today as well. Turning diameter, for many people this translates actually as a safety benefit. Because if you think about it, if you're on a street and you're trying to make a U-turn, being able to make it in one shot opposed to actually doing a three-point turn. And Sonata has best in class here for a turning radius at, or turning diameter at 35.8. Please said in the mid-size segment, some of the key purchase drivers are really safety and fuel economy. And we're pleased that we actually can offer both to consumers. Um, announced yesterday that we're very pleased IIHS did provide us with a top pick for front, side, as well as rollover standards, so that's something that we're really proud of. 